<laughs> and this morning as I was preparing to come to church, just doing my regular weekly routine of work, I received a text from Roy uh, with a picture that you see up here on the screen. And he said, Look, are you aware of what happened to our church? And I was not aware yet. I have to say, when something like this happens, all kinds of emotions run through our minds. And it did with me when I received the text from Roy. I was angry. I was frustrated. I was sad. Because I thought, what darkness is in the hearts of people to do such a hateful act? And so as I was finishing tying things up at home so I could get here, I began to pray. And I truly felt the presence of God, the Spirit, just really surround me and reminded me, you know, this person is hurting. This person is in darkness. This person needs to be filled with my love, my light. And so that was my prayer for whoever performed this act. That they would be aware of God's presence, that they would sense the error of what they have done, and that God's love and grace would truly surround them. But I was amazed in some ways, and I, don't, I guess in some ways I don't know why I was amazed, but in some ways I was amazed at the outpouring of love and support. And it reminded me that we are doing a good work here in this community. That we are standing for love and that we are proclaiming the message of God's inclusive love. And the people know we're here and when one of us hurts, we all hurt. Amen. Amen. And so what should our response be? I think we can find some guidance from God's Word. In the New Testament book of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, we find these words. Do not repay evil with evil, or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Because to this, you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. And as encouraging as I find that, I also find it challenging. Parts of my human side doesn't want to be a blessing to whoever did this. But I know that deep down, the best thing I can do is to love them to pray for them, and to trust that God will eventually break through. I want to encourage us to go from this place with a renewed interest in seeing equality for all. To help work toward hate crime legislation. To help work toward an end to discrimination and hate crimes of all kinds. But to first and foremost, let love guide our every step, our every word, and all of our actions.
peaceful 